Hello, I'm Staff Sergeant Wilkins with the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard. Today, in this video, I'm going to cover how to build and assemble the C-CAP. Now I'm going to talk about the items you'll need to complete this task. Some high quality glass cleaner, a microfiber towel, uh, preferably get a good one that you would use to, you know, polish something with, your C-CAP that you'll get issued. If you're a combat MOS, you'll have a blue disc and an additional hatch strap as well, a roll of tape, a lighter, some scissors, some needle nose pliers with the cutting portion. You're going to need this to be able to cut the hangers. And then two metal hangers. On your hangers, make sure that they're not coated or painted or anything weird, just regular metal hangers. Uh, don't get the ones that are too thick either. Just the normal size hangers, just like the ones I have right here, work just fine. Now I'm going to show you how to disassemble the C-cap. So take your C-cap. You should have your additional hatch strap. You can just pull it apart like this. Just pull on the ears. These are the ears. On the inside of your C-cap, you'll have a sweat band right here. This black material. Just roll it out like that. Inside, you'll see a white band. Just grab it and pull it right out like that. That's what it should look like. On each side, you'll have these little brass eagles. They unscrew to the left. There's one on each side, the left and the right. And you'll have your other hat band. You only need to disassemble one. Then, on the inside of your C-cap, there'll be a little screw back behind your gold eagle. You can reach in with your hand and you'll feel it and just unscrew it. Take your scissors and cut this material away from the metal hat band that was on the inside. Once you have it completely disassembled, you should have your hat band. You should have the metal hat band that's on the inside. You cut this material off. You have a hat strap that's still put together, one hat strap that has been separated. You have the two gold eagles from the sides, your main brass off the front of your C cap. Now I'm going to show you how to get the measurements for your hangers and how to cut them. So now I'm going to show you how to prep the hangers so you can get the measurements you need. You're going to take your needle nose pliers with the cutting portion, come up where the hook of the hanger is, and just cut this excess off. You won't need it. Okay, now you can see how my hanger is. What I'm going to do is straighten out this side and straighten out this side. The end result being get as close to a 90 degree angle as you possibly can. And then just in the middle, at the bottom of the hanger right here, just cut it off. There's no precise measurement here. There's a lot of extra material. So now I have this L shape right here. And that's what I want, right? I don't need this hook and get rid of that. Now in a close up, we're gonna show you how to get your measurements. So now you're gonna take your hanger and a marker and your C cap. You turn it on the side, I like to hold it like this in between my legs. It's easy to control. That way I can pull this material this way. So I'm going to place my hanger right here in line with this seam on the top, running with it. This one right here. I'm going to put it on the side of the C-cap like this. Now I want to make some marks. My first mark is going to be where this top material meets the side of the C-cap. My next mark is going to be right on this stitch line. And my last mark is going to be right here. Okay. Now I'm going to grab another hanger and show you how to get the back. You can do this for the size. This is the side of the C-cap. So I can do one here and then flip it over and I can check this side. I'll show you in a second. So on the back, you want to do it separate because the back material is not as tall right here as on the sides. So same thing as before, 
I place my hanger right on this seam right here. I pinch it with my thumb. I'm pulling it. I'm not pulling it super tight, but I'm pulling it tight. I'm going to mark right here. Mark on my stitch line and mark at the base. This is going to be a bend. This is going to be a cut and this is going to be a bend. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Now I've marked two L-shaped hangers, one for each side. And then I have marked one L-shaped hanger, which will be for the back side right here. This measurement will be different than the sides. You want the sides to be the same so the hat's even. So now that I have my marks, I'm going to show you how to bend it. So I'm going to go back over and explain these marks again. So this was the mark I made where the top of the hat material met the side of the C-cap. This is the mark I made that was on the stitch line, and this is the mark that I made that was at the bottom of the C-cap. So going back up to this 90 degree corner you have, coming over here, we want to make a mark about an inch from this corner. You can eyeball it, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to use a micrometer or a ruler, that's fine as well. This is going to be another bend. So the very bottom mark down here on each hanger, this is your cutoff point. So you can take your pliers and cut this off. Here, I'm going to bend a 90 degree angle this way. So I'm going to take this portion, this little small portion and bend it that way. I'm going to have a 45 degree angle bend here and then a 90 degree angle bend here, bringing the hanger to look like something like this, bring it down here. So I'm going to show you that now. Here's my marks that I had earlier. This is the mark that I told you was an inch from the corner. I'm going to make a 90 degree bend right here. So now that I made my 90 degree bend right here, I'm going to come down and make the same marks that I made over here on this side. I can use a ruler or a micrometer or just eyeball it. If you want to be more precise, use a micrometer and lay it on here like this. Now that I've made my marks, I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and cut these ends off. All right, so now those very last marks, that's where I made my cuts just on the outside of it. These ends where you see a next mark up, I'm going to just bend this out 90 degrees this way and this way. I'm going to show you that now. So now on those marks, I'm going to make a 90 degree bend out. And then right over here on this mark, I'm going to make another 90 degree bend out. I've made this first bend up here I showed you to get this 90. Now I cut off the excess and made these little 90 degree bends here. The last bend you need to make is the marks in the middle, right here and right here. So what you're going to do is make a 45 degree bend. I'm going to show you that now. So I don't want to bend too much. I make sure I grab on the side that's away from where your 90 degree bends are. So towards the ears down here, I'm going to bend just about 45 degrees. <clears throat> your end result should give you a hanger that looks something like this. You have 45 degree bends in the middle, you have 90 degree bends up here, and then you have these little ears on the end is what I call them on the bottom of the hanger that's also a 90 degree bend. You're going to make three of these, one for each side and one for the back. Remember that the one on the back, these measurements are going to be different because the material is shorter in the back of the C cap than on the side. So these two hangers are going to be exactly the same length and size, and then my hanger in the back is going to be different. So now you'll have two hangers that are larger than your third one. Your third one, that's the one for your back. So make sure you understand which one they is, set it to the side, whatever you need to do. If you put them next to each other, you should be able to tell which one is smaller than the other ones, all right? So I'm going to grab my metal ring from my hat. I have some one inch wide masking tape. I'm just going to tear off about two to three inches of material. I'm going to do that three times. What I'm going to do is tape these hangers onto this metal ring. This is what holds the hat up and makes it nice and stiff. So remember the rivets on the back. I talked about that in the beginning of the video. That's where we're going to put the smallest hanger that you made. So I'm going to place that one here, for example, and then this one here, and then this one here. And that's how it'll be set up. And I'm going to tape it. When I tape it, I want to make sure that 
I don't have the hanger towards where the top of the C-cap is going to be. I'll show you that now. All right, so here's the easiest way to do this. Sometimes it gets confusing if you're really trying to take your time and do it right. So I take all the hangers and I place them with the bins facing up. Those 45 degree angles that I, I made, I'm going to place my hat band over this tape just like this. So I'm doing the back right now. So when you lay the ring on the table, you take those 45 degree bends and have them facing up just like I have this. Whenever you tape it, it will already be set up so that the hangers will be on the bottom side of this hat band. If you tape it with the hanger being on the top edge, then what will happen is the hanger will poke through the top of your C-cap and it's very noticeable. So the end product should look like this. So here's the top of your ring. I have placed all the hangers at the base on the inside and I've taped them. So when I pick it up, the hanger shouldn't shake freely. That's how you know you did a good job taping. You should be able to push them down like this, just like that. And it'll sit inside your C-cap like this. And I'll show you that later on when we do reassembly. So here's your hat band with the gold on it. What you're going to do is turn this inside out and find the back. In the back, there'll be a seam. On the inside, you'll have this excess material. What you're going to do is cut this away. When you're cutting it, Make sure you don't cut into the stitching or anything like that. I highly recommend you use really good scissors to do this. If you use cheap scissors, it's going to be a pain uh, and it's not going to cut. It's going to tear very bad. As you can see, that was very easy for me to cut the scissors that I have are very good, so I just cut right through it very easily. Repeat the same process on the other side. Now you can see I've cut away the material, so what I'm going to do is touch up the edges with a lighter. When I'm burning with a lighter, just like in all the other videos I've shown, I don't want to get too close. I'm just using the heat from the flame to get away those frayed edges. When doing this, your goal is to make sure there's no fabric exposed on the top or the bottom. You want to keep it as flat as possible so that when viewed from the outside, it looks something like this. Nice and clean, nothing sticking out on the top or the bottom of your hat band. So now I'm going to take the hat strap that I disassembled. You can do that by just pulling it apart. So on this hat strap and only on one of them, I'm going to cut off these ears right here. So each one has these little ears. So I like to flip it over and on the inside, you can see right here where it's straight and I just use that as my guide and I'll just cut it straight off. Same thing on the other one. When I'm done, I like to use a lighter and just kind of touch it up because it does fray sometimes or if there's something poking out. I'm just using the heat from the flame. I'm not touching the flame to it. Your end result, you should have nice little square pieces like this with no ears on it. The other one, you can see it still has ears. Now I'm going to show you how to reassemble your C-cap. On the inside, you want to take this sweatband and just roll it out. So the bill is obviously the front. So over here on my hat band, this is the sides. And this is the back. You can see that I have the hangers oriented like this with the 45s like this now and the ears are facing up. You can take this hat band and bend it whichever way you need to bend it. Try not to mess your hangers up too bad. But stick it down inside there, inside your C-cap. Just like that. It's that easy. Alright, now you can grab a hold of it with your hand by pinching it with your fingers however you want to and you want to spin it until the hanger 
the small one, is centered on the seam. So you can see there's a seam on the hat, the sweatband. There's a seam on the back of the C-cap here as well. So I'm just going to spin that and line everything up. Okay, now I've lined everything up on the inside and what I'm going to do is take these ears and place them where the sweat band meets the side of the C-cap. So I'm going to fold it up inside like this and push the sweat band down on it, rotate, same thing again, I'm putting that hanger, tucking it down in beneath that sweat band, folding it down on it, and then again doing the same thing here. Now, I will say that uh, you won't be able to see it in the video, but these hangers can poke you in the side of the head on this sweatband. So what you can do is shape them a little bit by bowing the hat like this. You can use your pliers, whatever you would like to do. And you can kind of shape those little ears so they're not poking through. All right. Now you see that the C-cap has some structure to it. So now you want to go around this top edge and make sure that the metal band on the inside has this seam on the edge of it all the way around. You can take your C-cap and place your left hand on the hangers on the inside and grasp them with your thumb and you can bend down by applying pressure with the other hand to kind of shape your hat. And when doing this, what you're trying to do is make sure the top is nice and flat that it doesn't dip down when viewed from the side. You don't want it to be shaped like a boat or anything. You don't want a curve to be in there. You want the hat to be nice and flat. You can take it and place it on the edge of a table where the bill's hanging off, and you can measure around the sides as well to check this. And what you're trying to do is make the top nice and flat and stiff like this one. All right, moving on. We're gonna put our hat band back on. Make sure the gold is facing up. The standard for this is it should be seated all the way to the top. Make sure it doesn't tuck itself under or anything weird. That happens sometimes. Just so want to take this hat band and slide it all the way to the top. Okay. Now check the back and make sure your seams are lined up in the back. You have a seam on your hat and a seam on the hat band. So the same thing I did with that metal ring from the inside. Just slide it and get everything nice and lined up. Once you have that lined up, find the side where your gold eagles screw in and poke those back through the side. Find the holes that you have in your hat band. I'm going to come back after doing that and make sure that my hat strap or a hat band, sorry. Make sure my hat band is still set. And push it to the top again, constantly lining everything up. So now, the ones that you cut off the ears on, the square, that's going to be what's considered your chin strap, and that will be in the back. All right. So. The front hat strap will always go over the back hat strap. So the one with the ears on it will go over the one that's in the back, just like this. And I'm going to screw the gold eagles back in. Make sure that your eagles are facing up correctly when doing this. Now I'm going to tighten my hat straps and make sure they're nice and even and flush and flat all the way around. All right, the last step is to put your large gold eagle badge back on the front. If you have the blue disc 
Uh, you may have to remove this grommet using your needle nose pliers. The way you do that is you pinch it without touching the hat material and you have to grip your needle nose pliers very tightly like this and then you spin that grommet around several times and make sure that you're not tearing up your hat when you're doing it and you can try to do it from the inside as well there we go once you pull it out it'll look something like this you can just set it to the side what this will allow you to do is to be able to put this on with that blue disc still attached all right now i'm just going to give you a few tips about the c-cap you can take a lighter and burn all over it and tape it off you can use tape to get your lint and stuff off of it or a very clean dry toothbrush if you get dirt on it to clean it you can use a high quality glass cleaner definitely use that and a good towel to clean your eagles on the sides your hat straps and your bill um, if you have any issues when you're building your c-cap and you have a problem with the top being nice and tight what you can do is you can steam it and then put it in uh, your freezer for like 5-10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, and pull it back out. And what that does is it tightens up the material on the top. So now I'm going to talk about the standards. So, like I talked about, when your C-cap is level, <clears throat> you can hang the bill off the side of the table to measure around the side and check the heights on here to make sure it's nice and flat and flush. You want your eagles to fly straight up and down on the front and the sides. Hat straps nice and pulled tight, cleaned, and flush and level all the way around. Remember the one in the back is the one with the ears cut off. My hat band with the gold on it is seated all the way as high as it'll go into that little crest where the side of the C-cap meets the top material. In the back, my seams are all flush and straight, so the C-cap seam right here, and then the hat band seam, and then the seam at the bottom, they all line up. That is the standard for your C-cap. Make sure to double check that the seam around the sides matches with that metal band on the inside. And you can take your hands, like I said before, and shape it by adjusting those metal hangers to get the achieved effect. 